So I, from conception to release now, it's been a four year process. So I started writing the movie four years ago and uh, I grew up in West LA skateboarding and I was a 100% dedication, 14% skill. And it was just something I knew would be a part of my first film and I wanted to make a film that came from a real place and something that meant something to me. And when it came time to find these characters and bring them to life, um, whether it was going to skate parks, our friend and co-producer Mikey Alfred knew a lot of these guys, and um, you know, we just found these amazing actors, and they were, you know, I knew I was going to use real skaters as opposed to actors, and Sonny randomly happened to be both, but like, like, you know, these guys are real skateboarders, and the best part of the whole process was watching them become because of their hard work and dedication, watching them become amazing actors. You yeah, know, I've, I've acted before, but I mean, I wouldn't say I have like too much experience. I mean, I've like been in a couple movies, but I wouldn't say that's, uh, I mean, I'm still pretty young, but I mean, I put on Jonah, he's like a great director. And I mean, it was all scripted, so. <laughs> well, everybody look at me. <laughs> uh, well, shit, my experience acting was, uh, it was like a new realm to, you know, it's different than skating and pretty much all the other stuff that I've done. Uh, but I kind of went into it with the same, like, mindset of, you know, whatever whatever we got to go through to get it done right, that's what I'm here to do. So once uh, I figured out that I had got the part, it was like, for sure, I'm, I'm in it now. Like, what I'm going to do, fuck up, like, fail, like, give a weak performance, like, I, so I just had to dig deep and really try hard to do this shit. Right. He was amazing. Uh, for me, I think, uh, well, this is my first time acting, so I didn't know, I didn't know how much you had to contribute, and I was nervous of me not doing enough, so I just studied and really uh, tried hard at this film. 100%. I remember someone on set asked me, he was like, are you nervous between, uh, before every, all of your scenes? And then I was like, yeah. And then he said, <laughs> no, but I thought I was just nervous because yeah. it's my first time doing it. And then he said he's nervous also, but he's super experienced, Lucas. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, so these, these nerves are a healthy thing. And I remember before he said that, even if I had one line that whole day, I'd be saying it to myself and out loud all day. Just like not wanting to fuck up, but nerves are very healthy. Yeah. Well said. Like, skaters are the best people in the world. We make this world go round. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Women make the world go round, really. But uh, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, really. Like, if you skate, you skate. If you wear fancy clothes or regular, whatever it is, like, just be yourself. Be you and just focus on that. So if, if somebody is like, damn, I want to skate, but I can't really skate that good. How can I contribute to skateboarding? So you make a movie. If, if, or if you like, damn, all these skaters got a good style. I want to be a part of their scene, but like, I'm not. So they base their clothes off it. Like, you know, I mean, it's just inspiration. Inspiration comes from everywhere. I get inspired uh, in skating from fashion and from movies and from TV and from music and all this shit. So the inspiration really is not like, it's not like one thing that you can point your finger at. It's just, we all here on this world living amongst each other. So of course you pick up certain shit from different people and different uh, subcultures and scenes and all that shit. So yeah. How could life just be funny or just be sad? You know, one moment it's one thing, the next moment it's the next thing. You can't see it coming and, and we don't know what's coming. So for me, it was very important that my voice as a filmmaker was one where tones shift as they do in real life on a, on a dime. And I love watching with the audience because I like, there's moments where they're laughing, there's moments where they're crying. And to me, that's how I feel as a person. And I, I want my films to reflect myself and my heart. Yeah. Um, yeah, you talking about Mikey Alfred. He's a co-producer on the movie and he's, he's a great guy, really talented, hardworking dude. and. You know, it was great, a great joy to have him. Uh, you know, I originally hired him just to film some skating, and then he did such a good job, we made him a co-producer. So, you know, he's a great dude. Hell yeah, dude. Mikey, my motherfucking brother. Mikey Alfred is 
the GOAT. Like, he's strictly business. Like, that's one person. Like, oh God, like, I'm not lying. Like, so I know Mikey Sue was like 15, 16. And I met him at a very uh, kind of uh, important time in my life because a lot of my friends that had started skating and I was skate with kind of fell off. So I was just kind of out there, kind of blindly just skating around with dreams of becoming a professional skateboarder, right? So I linked up with Mikey and he just hit me up random, like we should film some stuff. And I was like, for sure. Like I, I wasn't even like filming tricks at this point. So I was like, for sure. And like, that's what you do. That's the next level is filming your tricks and doing all this stuff. And yeah, we just was around each other for a very long time. And he became like one of my closest friends. And it's so, it's so, I'm so proud of him to be like the fact that we're all a part of this thing that's, you know, like, this, this is a whole different. This is a whole different ball game, you know. I think I was like thirty when High Beast started. <laughs> Did you guys grow up reading High Beast? Kind of. I mean, like my sister introduced me to like a bunch of like designer and uh, like High Beast, so I I give her props. But I mean, I mean I follow High Beast on Instagram, so I just like watch and like see what I. I mean, it's just like a a little bit of everything together, so I think it's pretty cool. Uh, As someone who pre-existed Hype Beast, it's cool that something came up that represented the parts of like hip hop, fashion, skating, and kind of put it all in one place. Like a very, when it came about, it was like, oh, great idea. Put all the shit that like sneaker culture, all the stuff that was kind of spattered around, but people would usually share an interest in all of it. It was cool for someone, it was a great idea and well done to like put it all in one place. And they show love and so we show love back.